Okay, so uh, we've done a whole bunch of things there. We've uh, discussed um, resistance, uh, the definition. We've seen what the symbols are for the ohmmeter and for the resistor. We uh, and we have seen how to add resistance in series. Um, so we can do a couple of small experiments just now. And um, the first part of this experiment will simply be to measure the resistance of a couple of resistors. So normally. If uh, I was in school, if we were in school, then we could use resistors. Yeah, it'd just be, you know, electrical components. I'm at home, so I don't have that. What I do have is these light bulbs. Okay, inside the light bulb is a filament, and a filament is a resistor. Okay, it's that part that glows, gives out light energy and heat energy when we switch them on. So we're going to measure the resistance of these light bulbs. Two different types. This is an incandescent bulb. These are the old ones, which are not allowed to buy anymore. They're very inefficient. And this is a halogen bulb which is being phased out. Most of my house has LED bulbs which don't work with it, this experiment. So kind of lucky even to have these. So I'm going to put them in here so they don't get broken. Um, these are um, resistive or conductive plastic. They have a good resistance. We're going to use those for the experiment involving adding resistors in series. First of all, we'll just measure the resistance of these light bulbs. Let's have a quick look now. These are the two terminals. Okay, so this is like <clears throat> these are where the ele electricity goes into the goes in through the the bulb. So if we measure across them, we're going to measure the resistance of the filament. Okay, can you see that? Okay, oops, and daisy, it's going to fall. No, it's going to fall. Just hang on a minute. That dropped a little. Unfortunately, let me try again. There, okay, 97.3 ohms. Okay, so the, the filament inside the bulb has a resistance of 97.3 ohms. And how we're we measuring that, we're measuring it across the filament, okay, on these two little bulbs. And that's the that's the halogen bulb. We'll just look at this incandescent one here. We're gonna do exactly the same because they're manufactured uh, to fit in, you know, it's like a standard bulb fitting your household. I'm going to measure that. It's 88.5 ohms, so a little bit less resistance. Um, so these that's why these ones are, are, are a little bit less efficient. They're producing more heat. Okay, so those are the balls and those are just looking at how we measure the resistance on, on uh, items, on I household items. The next one is a little bit more interesting because I have here uh, two pieces of conductive plastic. Okay, you see this is just plastic. Okay, but it's unusual plastic because it conducts electricity. Most, almost all plastics do not conduct electricity. They're in fact insulators, but this one is a very special one. And I just happen to have it, which is lucky because we can use it to measure, we can use it to add resistors in, in series. So first thing we're going to do is, I'm actually going to use my pen here. We're going to call can get this out of the way. Let's call this one R1. Okay. We're going to call this one R2. All right, and we want to calculate RT. So R1 equals R2 equals. We're going to calculate RT. So this isn't a perfect experiment, but it will, it should show us what's going on. We measure the resistance across the length. Now maybe you can see that. If we get the camera closer to the screen, you'll be able to see that it's 81.3 kilo ohms. Okay, so that's, there we go, 80.9 kilo ohms. So that's 80.9 thousand ohms, 80,900. So let me write that down. We're going to say 80.9 kilo ohms. That's R1. Okay, let's do R2 now. We 
leave it to settle a bit. So that's a 113.3 kilo ohms. 113.3 kilo ohms. Okay, now I know what you're all thinking. What happens if we join them together? What would the total resistance be? Well, I think we can calculate it first. So how do we calculate it? Yeah, we do RT from before. RT equals R1 plus R2. RT equals R1 plus R2. Okay, R1 is 80.9 kilo ohms. Okay, so RT equals 80.9 plus 113.3. So RT equals, and I think I'm going to have to get a calculator for that because it's not such an easy one to do. So just that, bear with me a moment while I get my calculator and we should never be ashamed of using calculator when it's a bit more tricky like that. So we've got 80.9 plus 113.3 and that equals 194.2 194.2 Now because we're adding kilo ohms the units remain the same kilo ohms kilo ohms Okay so we've done the theory let's see if the practice confirms Let's make a quick practical experiment here. We're going to join these two together. Okay. This is not perfect in any way. I'm only using what I've got in my house. Okay, we're just going to clip those. There, so now these are two together. I get my probes here and we can check. We're expecting to see around 194.2 kilo ohms. Okay, what have we got there? 195, 194.7, 194.6, let's call it that, 194.6, 194.6 kilo ohms. Not too bad. All right. See you later.